I'm kind of disappointed that they're not going to have it this year. At Alt Park, the news of the fireworks cancellation there isn't going over very well. Rob Hole has spent the last few 4th of Julys at the park. He understands the decision. It's a lot of people. I can see why they kind of canceled it. But. I personally don't like all the traffic when you're leaving uh, the park. Maureen Farrell says in recent years, she's adjusted her plans to still enjoy the show and not deal with the traffic. It takes longer to get out of the park than it does to see the display. So if they could work with something with the traffic, that would be awesome. Those challenges are what led to volunteers making the sudden announcement. The Cincinnati Park Board sums up the problems this way. The event became increasingly difficult for the volunteer organizers to plan, produce, and manage in a safe and efficient manner. We're here after 57 years of being primarily volunteer run, um, that to be closing down, I mean, my heart was broken. And so we wanted to step in and see if there's a way for the city to help. The Parks Board, and not the city, runs the park. City Council Member Seth Walsh is trying to get other council members to find a way for the city to keep the tradition alive. Ultimately, is there a way to keep this event going and take some of the burden off the volunteers? And to do that for years to come. I see lots of families there that I'm sure year after year after year, it's, it's, it's an event that they look forward to and pass on for you know a tradition with the family. We're gonna work really hard to see that we can pull this off and keep it alive. Hey there, yeah, you could stop watching right now, but let's be honest, you don't want to do that. Hit the links or click subscribe to see more amazing content from all of us here at Local 12.